Hi, my name is Dane, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today, we're going to be examining the Fillet tool and some of its newest additions. Something new in 2016 is the Curvature Continuous Profile for the Edge Fillet. This profile creates a C2 curve in relation to the two faces it is connecting. Being able to use this profile in an edge fillet will save time because you no longer have to go through the process of selecting faces, which occasionally can be confusing or difficult. The Curvature Continuous Profile is available for constant size, variable size, and face fillet types for all the parameters. Right now, I'm toggling between the Circular and Curvature Continuous Profile. The change is subtle, but sometimes that's all a design needs. Another hidden gem within the fillet tool is the Chord Width parameter. To better understand the tool, I'm going to define the term chord width in relation to the fillet tool. The chord width is the distance between the edges created by the fillet, and what the tool will do is keep those edges a defined distance apart. In this joystick model, I want to fillet this edge here. If I turn on the curvature display, you can see that the curvature along the edge is not uniform and has some abrupt changes. These changes in curvature might cause issues for most of the fillet parameters. So I'm first going to do a symmetric edge fillet to display that point. The inflection point along the bottom edge is caused by the change in curvature at that location, and it's causing the chord width to change. As you can see at the top it's wider, and it tapers down at the bottom. To get a more aesthetically pleasing part, I'm going to do a chord width fillet to ensure that the chord width is constant regardless of changes along the surface. So instead of an edge fillet, I'll need to do a face fillet in order to access the chord width parameter. As you can see, the symmetric face fillet has the same outcome as the edge fillet, but when I switch to the chord width parameter, a visually appealing fillet is created. The chord width is now constant across the fillet, which results in a smoother curvature at the bottom of the fillet. Here's a comparison of the two features. As you can see, the chord width fillet has a smooth transition along its length and the bottom of the fillet is all green. But with the edge fillet, you can see the abrupt changes in curvature as the color changes from red to blue. In this video, I answered the question, what is a chord width fillet and when should I use it? I also mentioned the new curvature continuous profile within the edge fillet. If you like this video, found the information useful, or want to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel.